Hey everyone, so today we are learning how to connect our Ricoh camera to our phone. First things first, you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is on and you are not connected to any other network, whether that be home, at the dealership, um, at, at wherever really. Um, nothing's connected to your phone as well. Your phone's not connected to your personal hotspot, nothing like that. Literally just to open Wi-Fi. Why? Because you don't want to cause any conflicts between the connection from your phone to your Ricoh camera. So first things first. We're gonna turn our Rico on. I'm gonna give it just about five seconds for the Wi-Fi signal to uh, start going out. Then, I'm gonna swipe down on my screen here to go to my Wi-Fi. Here you have top left corner. I'm gonna press and hold. That's gonna take me to all the open networks. Now, how am I gonna know which one is the Rico? Well, hold the bottom gently, unscrew from your tripod. On the bottom, there is a serial number. That's also your password. So what I do is I memorize the last four digits, 7821. And I'm gonna look for it here. It says Theta, as you can see here, Theta. I'm gonna highlight it. And 7821, I'm gonna click on it to connect to the network. It's gonna ask for a password. The password is going to be right here where you can see on top here, that's the network name. So from two, which is the numbers, 20107821, that's the password. All Ricos are gonna have the same exact type of serial number and password, right? So you'll have um, some letters, then you'll have the numbers. You're gonna enter in all the numbers. So right here, 20107821, and connect. I'm gonna screw this back on. Notice where I'm holding, right? So that way my fingers don't get on that, uh, on that fisheye lens, the lens here and here. You're gonna get a pop-up. Pop-up says, internet may not be available. You're gonna click on or choose keep Wi-Fi connection. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to successfully connect to your Rico. So now you're actually connected to your Rico. Now, there's two things you have to watch out for here. During your training process, you'll be able to utilize or you're going to utilize Digital Lot and LotSync, two different platforms that we use in our company to take photos and spins and the walk around video, the Rico camera. So First one on the Vim app, just for training purposes, just want to be able to show you that you're connected. This is how you're going to be able to check that you're connected. I'm going to go to record, spin 360. For the stock number, I'm going to type in test. For the VIN number, it has to be at least eight digits. So I'm going to type in test twice, I think, if I hit it there. And the title, I'm just going to type in test again. Test. Then we're going to go to browse. I'm going to grab just anything in there. It could be a photo, video, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to grab the last video that we did on my phone. Then I'm going to click on panel. Connecting to external camera. This is where you'll be able to see your Rico view through your phone and you know you're connected successfully. This is the first way. There we have it. You can see us there. So I'm gonna cancel that out. So that's the first way. The next way, while my Rico is still on, is click on the Theta app. Now, this is important right here, right? See that it says select access point. It's already recognizing your Rico, but it hasn't connected. So I'm gonna click register. Two ways to ensure you are connected successfully. Now, sometimes your screen will be black when you get to the Theta app, right? Bottom right hand corner over here, right here where it says 360, you can click on that. Keep clicking on it until you see your view. So the view you'll use is this view here, the panoramic view. That's the view that you'll use. And that is how to successfully connect your Rico. Now from here on out, every time you need to connect, you would just turn your Rico on and your phone would automatically connect. It takes about five to 10 seconds. We've timed it, 10 seconds being the maximum time. And that's it. If you have any issues connecting, I highly recommend turn off your Wi-Fi, turn off your Rico, wait a few seconds, five to 10 seconds, turn on your Wi-Fi, wait five seconds, turn on your Rico, and they should connect from there. Any other questions after that, you should reach out to your market manager or always feel free to reach out to myself. Thank you.